What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're watching Richard Brown Films. Like and subscribe and share the video up. Jesus Christ, look at them on the water. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night. No, come man, come, come. Make me really tired of this. God no, me ya, me ya, brother and sister. Tu wanna come, 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 no man. This no man, me ne na foolish. No come, no sir. You look money, you look fifty dollar when me a save. You don't take any money. No, listen. Michelle, 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 stop now, no man. Stop now. Yo, Wallace, Wallace. You worry, you worry. Worry, Brittany, worry. Listen, me, listen, listen, listen to me, I say. Michelle, listen to me, I say. We don't discuss this with you already, you know. I mean, say, if you turn on and take on the medication, you know, you know, you can't stay, you know, you take on the medication, you know, you make a doctor visit. I take my medication. I take them. See there? I take my medication. Me, me, you, me, I know say you don't take medication. Me you dash them away. Take my medication. Look, me. Me, I know say you don't take them. I pick them out and dash them away. But listen, me, I say not to be injection and not take. Me say have you seen me sickness? I know have you know. I'm ensure say me take to my medication and me take my injection. And me, I'm a woman. Don't discuss already. And he say you don't care and tender. So you don't have to. You don't have to go on. Go on. Come man, come man. I know God's to go. Come man. Come man. Come man. Come. Brittany, come on, come on, come on, no, no, go on, man, go on. Brittany, you see your mother call you. Your mother have something for you. Come, Brittany. Come. No, no, got no, have to go. Come, come. Come, up. come, man. What, what a daughter, what a daughter. How much time I have to tell you, son? You don't call me father here, all right? This is a business place. All right. You know where you're supposed to call me, right? Yes, doctor. Yeah. Thank you very much. I can call you, son, but you don't call me that, all right? Yes, sir. Okay. So what happened? I just came to check up on you if everything was good. Oh, no, man. Everything all right, man. Just a balance all them stuff here and thing and so forth. Okay. I said, you know, good. So you've been coming on. You've been all right, man? Yeah, man. Everything's been good. Uh, the patients have been going a little while, but... Why? Been, yeah. But you know you have to keep them under control, though. Yeah, because we know that they're mentally unstable, but I've been doing okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, man. Well, <clears throat> when I observe, you know, it looks like you're really ready for the field now. And I mean, pretty soon Dr. Lipkiss is going to come, so I'm going to introduce it to him and I'm going to let him go and bring it out in the field, you know, because trust me, it seems like you're ready, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but that's that, all. That, that sounds good. Okay. Um, but isn't Dr. Lips, Lipkiss um, the head doctor at Ward 5? Yes, man. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Ah, uh, hello, Dr. Dr. Lipkiss, man. How are you doing, man? How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, man, splendid, man, splendid. Who is this young man? This? This is yes. my son, you know. 
What you saying? Yes, man. This is what this young man. This, this young man has gotten very big, man. Yeah, man. This year is a uh, is is uh, Damian win. The yeah. same one which was studying the other day. Yes, man. He's graduating university now. Yes, man. Congratulations, man. Welcome, welcome to the field. Why? You're following in your father's footstep, man. Lovely. Right, right, right. man. You lovely, know, lovely. The fortunate thing is that to see you right here, you know, because guess what happened? You want to be just like me, and I want him to be just like you. Well, <laughs> you understand me? Thank you for the compliment, man. Yes, Thank man. You anyway, what seems to be on the agenda for today? All right. You know, we have a lot, but I just want to tell you something about him, what I want you to for me. No problem. All right. You know, he goes to school and everything, and you know, the little theory and so forth, but you know, the like practical part of it. You're the oh. perfect person. I want to bring him around and show him around and show him the ropes, you know? Well, no problem, man. No you problem. Know, you know, all this thing, though. I mean, when you go to school and you're just in the books, that is nothing compared to when you really go out in the field. Yes. And you're a man of the field, so you know. I want you to bring him and show him the ropes and everything, you know. That will never be a problem. Sir. Yeah, man, and ensure that everything is all right, you know. So I'll be happy to have him off, um, alongside me. Yeah, man, not a problem, man. So if you're okay, sir, you, 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 are you prepared and everything? All right, not a problem. So, sir, I'm leaving it in your hands, you know. Yeah, man, no problem. I know he's in good hands, all right? Good hands. Very much capable hands. All right, definitely not a teach him. Yes, man. Best of my knowledge. All right, so he's going to put you under his wings, all right? Let's hear what he do for me. Bring this to the to the office and we'll um organize and get the stuff ready from there. So, so well, Dr. Wing, you say he's ready. Yeah, man, he's ready, man. Ready, 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 ready. Man. I've been him ready. Just so. bring him out for me and just, you know, do what you have to do. Yeah, man, I'll definitely guide him as best as possible. I'll teach him all that you have taught me. Right. And uh, hopefully, and by God's grace, I'm pretty sure he'll become out a very wonderful, excellent man. Right, right. That's what I want to hear, you know? All is full of confidence. Yeah, man. For sure. what I like about you. All right, then, sir. So, yeah, man. we'll see you later on. All right. Have a blessed day, sir. Thank you. You'll get something for you, but you have to wait. We are going to foreign next year. Nothing got tomorrow. No, next year when we go foreign, you'll get something for you. Me buy something for you at Walmart. Yes. <clears throat> me good already, you know? Me yeah. good already? From last week, you know, remember? From last week, me go. You forgot that you come to me at the airport. Oh, train, I forgot to train. I'm going to get a boy. You hungry? Me hungry too. I'm not crunching. That crunch, you? Me. Make it crunch, you? For me, skin and crunch me too. But. You know what I say? I pass one woman down there, so. And she has some sitting for her stall. I got teeth. We can't eat she. Because we're hungry. Come on, mommy. We're sitting with them where we did have yesterday. But well, we go down there, turn and say, we've we got teeth, not going to beat we. You know, sir, so, I pass one pin out there, so we'd only put food in there. We could have taken out it. And eat it because we don't have nothing to eat right now. Come on. Wait, you know. Wait, I have to sit down and you must learn to steam in the sun, you know. For steam? This is Cayman Island. I want to go to Jamaica soon. Yes. Me and you are going to Jamaica next week. So every, we week we have a every week we are traveling to a different country. Yes. We have money. money. Yeah, but I'm <laughs> hungry. I'm going to be a No, no, no. no I want yes. sister. You don't even see him, father. No, you don't even see him, father. All right, wait, wait, wait. I'm saying young, you can't see them up so early, you know. Wait. I'm dirty. Oh. I'm black like me. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, um, but your jacket and a different man give me the one here. Your sister. <laughs> Just ready to get to some work now, you know. Ready to get to some work? Yes, sir. But well, you're in luck. See, there is actually two of our patients, you know. We remember the um the patient's name. However, we have them by number. That is 006 and the 008. You see, patient 006, which is the mother. Yeah. Very delusional. So she believes that she is she is still living in America. Really? She actually believes that she travels every single week, which is absurd. Has she even has she ever traveled? I would doubt it like a million times over. But 
who are so, we to so, judge? So what about the daughter? Madness runs in the family. You know? I mm. believe it's gene and genetically connected. Mm. Because anything the mother says, the daughter does. Really? And anything the mother does, the daughter does also. So it's just one big happy halabaloo. So um, oh my she, 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 she looks nice, you know? What do you mean by she looks nice? Um, so it's just not be surprised that nobody will take her up or like hey, hold on help you. her. No, Dr. Wayne. Yes, sir. I would like you to help your professionalism to chip in right mm. about this moment. No, sir. It's just that we are professionals. We are not here to egg. No, no, it, no it, let, her, let, let, let me like speak, that. Frank, sir. It's just that she looks nice, you know, she, she doesn't, she doesn't really look too mad, you know. We did actually try it um, on many occasions, many failed attempts in actually trying to get her back to sane or oh. a level of, of maybe, understanding. But maybe she hasn't work. found the right person in her life. What do you mean, Dr. Wayne? No, Dr. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not understanding fully what you're trying to say you now. You know what, Wayne? Your father gave me strict instructions ensure that I guide you along the correct road and you see this first case here I want us to go through it and I should have show you the ropes so please may I ask you just let us do our job all right and get this over all right all right, all right doctor no more of them strange questions here good all right, all right sir. let's go sort them out them, them all right. they're still there yes good. as I said here go so here what I want you to apprehend the, the mother the mother you sure, you sure you don't want me to? Because the mother is a little bit big in so I should, I think I should take care of the, the daughter. Girl, girl, that's it, girl, that's it. Hey, 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 we're not here to hurt you. No! We're just here to give you enough monthly injections, no. doctor, and just free you up and set you on the way. Um, doctor, the the it's okay. the, it's okay. the the needle. Yes. Look. See? I'm not. I'm not. No! I I I'll go get it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at zero zero eight and the zero zero six. Calm down, man. All right. So, right here. Right here. I need to find Right here, right here. Come. No, no, no. <coughs> I don't understand why the mother is the, the daughter is screaming out in her heart. Let me give you a next one. Here's the next one. Okay. Come on this side. Come on this side. Come on around this side. Come on around this side. Calm down. Calm down for me, please. Please to calm down. It it might hurt you if you run up and down. I need to find Calm the down. Right there. Alright, alright, alright. See there it's all over. It's all over. Cover the needle, cover the needle, cover the... Okay, 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 zero, zero, 006 and zero, zero, 008. No, no need to fight. Down, no, ladies, calm down. Look, it is routine and mandatory that you guys will get your monthly fix. But I want you, what I wanted to make it much easier, make our job much easier. Why don't you guys come down to the clinic? And get some food. No, you guys are understanding what I'm saying, you know. There will, nothing will happen to you guys. Just come to the clinic and we will properly and better take care of you guys. Trust me. You think we should carry we the daughter with us? Best. Dr. Wayne, please focus. We have your best interest at heart. However, we cannot do our jobs effectively if we have to come looking for you guys. If we not take on the time out and come down to the hospital every month in, it will work out much easier for both of us. We can provide them with clean clothing and food. And a place to stay. Dr. Wayne, please focus. We can give you guys. I think they're planning to run, you know. We have done our job. If they decide to run, that's up to them. Okay. But as I say, please. You sure so we can help the daughter? You know, Dr. Wayne, I'm going to have a talk. You guys can't free, are free to them. We need to have a talk, a serious, serious talk. Sir, how is it you propose we help the daughter more than what we're doing right now? We could now? help her, man, doctor. It's just that. She doesn't look too mad. She says we can't help her. What do you mean by she doesn't look too mad? You know what? Dr. Wayne, there's much for you to learn. Come on.
Why? I'm not no money. But I'm going to try to make and get things for you. Why now? Right now. Why did you see them in the evening? For the last time. I go to foreign and keep sitting for you to eat. You eat after all night and you don't give me none. But I tell you the same time I go back to foreign and never get something for you to eat. Anyway, come come back, I go down the road. Alright. Hello. Calm, calm down. You remember me? No. Well, I'm I'm the nurse that gave you the injection. No, no, no. I'm not going to give you any injection today. My my name is Damien. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Don't don't be afraid. What's your name? Brittany. Nice to meet you, Brittany. So so where's your mother? Your mother. You know which part of my, your mother there? I lost her from last night. Because oh. you, you look like you want something to eat. You want oh. something to eat? Hungry. Alright, just stay right here so I'll get you something. Oh, this is mine? Yes. Come on. Nobody ever tell us you're beautiful. <laughs> so, where do you and your mother live? We live everywhere. You live everywhere? How about I take you home with me and clean you up? <laughs> yeah. That sounds good? Mm -hmm. Alright. As soon as you finish eat, uh -huh. I'll take you home with me. Alright. No, I don't want to. Alright. You ready? Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go. Don't oh. pay your back? No. Some water. All right, so this is some clothes you can change into. How are you feeling? You feeling okay? I'm going to go to one of my doctor friends and get some medical assistance. Hold that so. It's all okay. You can go and just relax. Drink some water. You know what? You're hungry? Huh? You're hungry? Alright, let me get some stuff for you to eat, okay? I'll be right back. Doctor? Doctor Jordan? 
Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, I wanted to talk to you about something. I would want your assistance. Yeah. Um, I have a patient that needs some help. Yeah. What can I help? From the information that I've gathered, she has she's mentally unstable. So right now I have her over my house. That's strange. She's mentally unstable. I have her in your house. Is she, well. I know it's very unethical for persons like us to have mentally unstable people around us, but she really needs some help. So, 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 I wouldn't realize that she's mentally. Well, the other day I was on the road with one of my colleagues mm -hmm. and her and her mother. Um, mentally unstable so we gave them some injections the regular routine and i was just so infatuated by her <laughs> uh, she, sure. she's from where she looks really beautiful and i really want to help her so you meet her other day and realize that she mentally stable yes yeah, so today i saw her again on the road her mother wasn't there, so I took her up and I brought her to my house. May I go still with them? So I can ever um bring her down to your father. Well, doctor, you know my father. And I don't think he would agree with what I'm doing, but I really want to help her. So you're the next best thing I could you're the next best person I could talk to. You're one of the best doctors in the area, other than my father. So that is why I would want you. All right. Tell you what. I'm going to go down to the office. But, um, bring her come see me down to the office. Um, okay, I never run late to you, you know. But, um, just bring her come down to the office by 1.30. Okay. And if I can get her medical files, I'll carry it to you too. Yeah, man. But quick question, though. Because this is very, very, very strange. Yes, doctor. You're not, you're not involved with her. No, doctor. I'm not involved with her. I, I, just, I just really want to help her. I've never met anyone like her before. I, all I really want to do is help her. All right. Because, you know, listen, me and man, you know, and not because I'm a doctor. Yes, doctor. You know how <laughs> nature and man go. So even though you're mentally unstable, your body might have not unstable and you might have catch your eye. No, doctor. It's, it, I, I, I just really want to help her. All right. All right. <laughs> but thank you again. Yeah, man. Take care of yourself. As I'm saying, bring her down at the office. Yes. May I, may I put on the show? I'll bring her tomorrow. All right. No problem. Just yeah. call me. Yeah. And it was good to see you again. Yeah, man. Same to you, Can have a word, please? Is everything okay, Doctor? What do you mean by if everything is alright? What are you doing out here with this you mad person? She's not mad. She was mentally unstable, but she's taking her meds now, Doctor. Look here, no man. You cannot be seen. This is beneath us. We are doctors. What do you mean beneath us? She's a human being. She's a nice young female. 
Listen to me. You see, when I signed up with your father, I made him a promise and I told him, say, I would guide you and take care of you. This was not a part of the deal. Mm -hmm. Who you think the man is going to feel him see you attack one mad woman on the street? Mm -hmm. Do not call her mad. What do you mean? I do love, call I, her? I, I love her. She's, she, she's one of the best females I have ever met in my entire life. You must be Lulu or something. Doctor, I'm not going to stand here and make a disrespect the woman I love. One day I see myself that I will marry her. So doctor, I won't and that way this is you know, But I'm going to leave you and go with my, my girlfriend. It's a bad woman. Doctor, bye. Doctor Wien. Doctor Wien. A heart speed to the city streets. We began to feel the fire. We rise like Tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night. Doctor Wayne, Doctor Wayne, Doctor Wayne. Really, man, always a pleasure. I am good. I know to say that you're always at my, always at work, you know. Boy, I tell you, man, the world they say that work never done, well, that's never. True. In our field, it's always a case. I tell you. So what's been going on with my son now? Uh, Doctor Wayne, you see, your son is doing very well in the field. You know? Yeah. I, I must say, it. he's a chip of the old block, if I must say so myself. As expected. You know, he does things to protocol and you know, he he's he has a keen eye as expected out there in the field for, for um for sites of danger. However, Mr. Wayne, I don't really understand what is going on here. But he has taken a keen interest to one of the patients, um patient number zero zero eight and zero zero six. This is um, a couple of patients that we had here at one point in time. However, they have uh, moved on. And the daughter of 006, he has found some form of interest which is beyond me. It has me baffled. What, 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 what type of interest? Come on. Get, 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 what, what you need he interest? seems to have fallen madly in love. My son? Dr. Wayne? If I never saw it myself, I would have actually not believed what is coming out, the words that are coming out of my mouth. Are you serious? My son? Sir, the first time or the first encounter with this um, peer, he shared interest and was asking me some questions. But I bring it under the mask because I was like, you know, you know, probably, you know, it's his first day. And I was like, all right. But then the other day, Dr. Wayne, in a very compromising position. You see with your own eyes? I saw it with my own four eyes, sir. My son and I spent millions of dollars sent to med school. You're telling me now that my son is involved with somebody of an unsound mind? Are you crazy? Are, are you crazy, sir? The girl, see. The level of heights or heights of disrespect that come with that statement to you asking me if I am crazy. You must be. Because I can't understand how my son is involved with somebody of an unsound mind. I myself. That's so ludicrous. <laughs> Sir, I wasn't going to say anything because I was hoping this would have been a phase. However, they saw that I saw him and I spoke to him. He was keen to let me know that he is madly, seriously, and crazily in love with this female and he intends to see her and even murder. 
No. <laughs> when him tell me, say, I need to back off and leave him alone, let him do his thing, I had nothing but to oblige. So I did just that. I left him alone. And if you never did bring it up, I wouldn't have said anything. Because as I said, it was none of my business. And it was well aware to let me know that. And none of my business. No, no, no. I, I have to get to the bottom of this. Because everything you tell me now is so unbelievable. I have to get to the bottom of it. Well, no, no. I, I, I apologize the way I approach you. But, I mean, I have to get to the bottom of this. This is just stone. My son? I think you need to talk to him. I'm going to have to have a serious talk with him. Very serious talk because he could be throwing his career away. This does not look good on his arm reputation, you know. And your reputation, um, I, if I might say. My son? Yes, sir. Anyway. I think you need to talk to him. I, I, I have to go have this. I have to be there. I have to go be there. Yes. All right? I have some labs to run. Yes, so, yes, 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 yes. Um, this is, let this me... Is, this is crazy, man. We're gonna have to talk and, 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 and see if we can see see how this goes, but let me get to some work now. Alright, all right, so alright, so alright. So maybe at lunchtime we can catch up and talk some more about this. Alright. So, uh, if you do see him before me, I think you really need to sit him down and have a serious talk. I'm gonna have a, a really, really serious talk with him about this. Alright, after you later. Alright, sir. Father? Damien, Damien, is this true I'm hearing? What that ellipsis can be, son? Tell me it's not true. Tell me it's not true. What? Damien, are you seeing a mad patient? Is it true? Father, I'm not seeing a mad patient. Uh, all right, I'll explain from the beginning. Yes, man. Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. Me and doc, Dr. Lipkiss was out on the field doing the regular routine. And we came into contact with two mentally unstable persons. We gave them their injections. And the other day, I saw one of them. And I took her to my house. And helped her. I got one of a doctor colleague to give her some medication and right now she's doing much better. She's no longer mentally ill. I'm not in a relationship with a mad woman. Well on. Look at me. Look at me. Are you serious? Look at me. You mean to tell me that I spent millions of dollars on you Send her to med school. And this is how you repay me? You take a patient out of an institution, bring her to her home, Fa and then... Father, listen, she, listen, listen I, to me. Father, she's, she was not a patient. She wasn't in the hospital. And she's no longer mentally unstable. She's taking her medications, and right now she's staying at my house. I'm, I'm just helping her. Listen, you're helping her, or you're helping her damn self? Eh? Tell me. What are you doing? I'm go Daddy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm in love with her. In love with what? You gone bonk her, son? In love with a mad woman? Are you crazy? I oh, know I can't believe this. If somebody tell me some boy something like this would happen, there's no way on God's earth I would have believed something like that. You? Eh? You're crazy? 
you can't just understand. I, may I be honest with you? I do love her. It's not like I'm forcing her to be with me. Damien, when I gave her the medication, she was still staying at my place. Damien, listen to me. You know how much disgrace you bring on all this family, son? Eh? Look at you, your, your cousins. Look at everybody. You are a sur surgeon. Eh? When I hear that my son pick up somebody that is mentally unstable, it not look good. That is why I didn't want to tell you yet. Listen. How does this look? Imagine you and I get married and have kids. What is going to happen? Eh? What is going to happen? With all those genes, what do you think will happen? You can produce mad kids. They can't just understand. Understand what? My entire life, I've always tried to do my best and live up to your expectations. Listen, this is not working out. It seems like you have your head set one certain way. And listen, we can't tell you this, you know. This madness has to end right now. It has to end right now because you don't have anything getting from me, you know. I prefer will everything that I have to push on dog before you. You better change. Anyway, let me just end this conversation because you're totally madness. Totally madness. That's just me come round here and look for you. I'm me finally find you. Mommy, me get help. I'm why you get help too. Yeah, me, mommy. I mean, your daughter, Brittany. Look now. Just look for me. Get up, please. Come on, get up. Come on, mommy, get up. Come on. Mommy, just come here. No, come here. My daughter. <laughs> Brittany. Yeah. Wait, which part did they? No, me, let's come on, Mama. Come no, on. You know how long I look for you, I look for you. Me me I look, look for you too, Mama. Come on now. Me have food for you. Yes. No, me have me, food for you. Me, me food come for you. on, Mama. Come um, on. We are going to go far in. Come on. Yes. Yeah, we are going far in. We are going far in. Yeah, we are going far in. We are going far in. Lisa? Yes, how are you? Whoa! Nice to see you. Man, you've grown. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How's your dad? He's doing alright, you know. He's still in the architecture stuff, aren't he? Yes, he is. Oh, nice to hear. So, you taking his footsteps or what are you doing? Well, I decided a different path for myself. You know, oh, I'm oh, more oh. into the whole science related field, so oh. I'm studying to become a nurse. Okay, that yeah. is, that, that's excellent. Yeah. Come on, so I see you, you're coming out. You just took some pictures, eh? Yeah. Took some pictures for business purposes. Okay, and that's where I was heading and stuff, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's a pure coincidence. Well, I tell you, you know, I'm, you have grown. Trust me. So I said that before. Oh, um, so that is okay. Everything. Yeah, man, that is doing just fine. Okay, so where are you guys living? Oh, we live in down by Negril, You know, you remember the house that they were working on at the time? Right. Yeah, man, that's the one that we live okay, in. Okay, so now. it's finished and stuff. Yes. Oh. Yeah, you can come by, you know. Wow, that's great. You know, I mean, it's nice to actually say old friends, but I mean, I didn't know his daughter grew so in a beautiful little flower, you know? That's nice. Anyway, okay. so, yeah, so, are, are you single? No, wait, 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 wait. Whoa, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It, it, it has nothing to do with me. You, you remember my son? Yes, I have a 
haven't seen him in ages. Right, that is what I was going at. Primary school. All right, that is what I was going at. I'm sorry if I really said it a certain way, but I know you guys were a little bit close when you were young. Yes, so. we used to play a lot. Right, and you haven't seen him in a while, so you know, that is the reason why I was asking, you know, if you're single and stuff, you know. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. right. Okay, now, now it's making sense to me, you know, yes, because yes, before yes. I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm you sorry. knew me from I was no, like, no, 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 no. so. Yeah, 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 not that time. Okay, well, that, that's more comforting okay. now. Okay, <laughs> you know, actually, he, 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 you know, he's finished med school and he's working. Really? That's so lovely to hear. I'm telling him, it's all in the family, you I know. I haven't seen him in ages. I, know, I would love you to see him right now, trust me. <laughs> So how is everything going though? Everything is alright, but we're talking about Damien. <laughs> I would really love you to see Damien. Okay, and pass this on to Damien. And I'm going to give it Damien number. Uh, wait. You're single. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> alright, so I'm gonna sure I'm gonna give you my number and I'm gonna give you his number, alright? Okay. I make sure give me the phone because I want to put it in myself. <laughs> alright. Man, it's such a, such a pleasure seeing you. Is. Really is. That's my number. Okay. When I and call him, I'm sure. Name me a number. When I call him, I'm sure he's going to be so surprised to hear from Just me. Just call him and say, listen, <laughs> who you are, you'd be so surprised. Trust me. Yeah. And I know you'd be glad to see him because, you know, <laughs> you guys grow up and stuff, yeah. and, you know, you're. You used to play a lot of hide and seek when you yeah, were Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, and stuff. So, so anyway. It was nice seeing you. Yeah, my number is in there, so you don't know. All right, that's All right. good business, you know. See you in right time. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs> All right. So, have a nice day. You too. Yeah, man. Take care. talk about <clears throat> whatever we're talking about with that mad per or is it that person you call girlfriend or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> you remember Lisa? My childhood friend Lisa? Uh, you used to live next door, man. You used to live niggle around <laughs> western side here. Yeah? yeah, I remember Lisa, but I haven't seen her for a very long time. <laughs> well, I see Lisa. And trust me, Lisa, if you say Lisa right now, Trust me, I get her number and I tell her to just come and give me a call and I will get call her and try to make you guys hook up, man. Trust me, trust me, listen to me. Listen to me. I needed to see her. Okay? Father, I'm going up in her. I haven't seen Lisa for a very long time. To be honest, at one point in time, I did like Lisa. But it didn't work out and I left that alone. All right. So I'm going to be honest with you. I don't want you to set me up with anybody. I already told you. I I love Brittany. All right. If you if you meet her, you understand why I love her. All right. Listen to me. Just meet the girl. All right. Listen, listen, listen to me. Just meet her, and then you can decide what after. You sure, so Lisa, even agree with what you're saying? She's single. And there's no problem in meeting her. Anything can happen. You know what this thing go? Listen to me, man. I want you to meet up with this girl. You understand me? Listen. If you can go and fall in love with a mad man, anything can happen. You what? understand? Father, I already told you she's not mad. All you need to do is meet her. No? All you need to do is meet her. Just, just, just hear me out and hear me say, and you're going to do it. You're going to meet with Lisa. All right, and that is final, okay? Okay, sir. All right. All right. Everything I, I tell you and do so far, you do. And right now you come here and disobey. It's something I want you to do, all right? Just go ahead and meet the girl, man, and we take it from there, man. Anything can happen, man, all right? All right, sir. Yeah, at least you owe me that. At least you owe me that. Lisa, what have you been? I've been good, you know. Everything has been going so well lately that I can't even complain. That's good. 
We're glad to get to see you still. Yes, I was really looking forward to it when I ran into your dad the other day. I was so surprised because I haven't seen him in such a long time, especially you. How's everything been with you? Well, I don't know if he told you, but I'm actually working at a mental institute. Oh, nice. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Where, where is that? Um, in South, um, downtown. Oh, that's lovely. All yeah. right. Yeah, but right now I'm a nurse, but I'm working towards becoming a doctor. Oh, I love that for you. Well, for me, currently in nursing school, I haven't gone too far just yet, but I think I'm looking forward to the career. Are you went to school before me? Well, you know, things happen, you know. <laughs> things happen and, you know, decisions change and so, but I feel like I'm finding my path yeah, now. You could never get a hit on straight. <laughs> you know, for me, you know, always trying to figure out what it is that I really want. So, yeah. finally decided now. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. So, to be honest, I'm glad to get for sale. And Same. I remember all those days when we used to play hide and seek. <laughs> you always find me somehow. I feel like right? I still I wonder if any of our checking device probably. Well, just say, let's just put it this way. I probably didn't, but you were a bit predictable at then, you know. You were a bit predictable. So I could always find you easily. It wasn't a task for me. Yeah. <laughs> but... I'm going to be straight up with you. Okay. I know my father obviously gave you my number so we could talk, but mm -hmm. I'm actually in a relationship. Okay. I wasn't aware of that because he didn't mention anything about that when I saw him. Yeah, but he doesn't really think the person that I'm with is a suited person for me. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm very confused. So I don't understand how I got caught in this if he understands that you're with somebody at the moment. Because he asked me if I was single and then told me that things, you know, would be a possibility based on the fact that he mentioned that yeah. you're single too. So that's why I reached out. Well, I'm sorry that I wasted your time. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, it's not a really waste of time because it is good to see our old friend. But I'm actually really in love with the person I'm with right now. And I want to just apologize. I understand. I, I still want to keep in contact with you because we know each other for a very long time. But I'm really in love. Well, I, I hope one day you can find someone for yourself. But I'm sorry again because of my father because... He doesn't really think the person is a good person. And uh, yeah, I just had to come here and do what he said. I understand. It's just a lot of miscommunications. Yeah. I mean, I do feel like I was misled, but yeah. it's okay. I yeah. get it. But we still can have fun, still can be friends. Yeah. If you're up to that. I'm cool with that. Okay. Yeah. Damien! Damien! Come here, come here, come here. Come here, man. Father? Is everything alright? No, it's definitely not okay. Listen to me. I line up on that fine looking young lady. Eh? And you mess it up. Lisa called me. And say it was an embarrassment. Why did I even send her there? Father, I told you already, sir, I'm already in a relationship. And I, I was honest with her. What kind of person would I be if I lead her on? No, man, this, this thing going way too far. Look, look, I mean, look at Lisa. Look, 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 look how she look. Look here. Whoever that person you have you know, in mind, you know, you want to make sure, say, she's ten times better looking and everything there because I can't believe it. Somebody looking like Lisa and this one you have now, it must be totally knocked out or whatever. I mean, I understand. Eh? I have to see her for myself, you know. 
I have to see her and talk to her. I have to do my own diagnosis. Because trust me, my youth. Trust me. It it why I don't know if it's it. I don't know if it's it. All you need to do is beat her. If you if you beat her, you understand why I love her. When this all started? Why are we going through this madness? Alright. That if if you want to meet her, I'll let you meet her. And if and I'll make a deal with you. If you think say uh, she's still mentally ill, I will quit the relationship. Seriously? Yes. That sounds like a good deal. You understand? But guess what happened now? Why I think I have to get my head examined enough because I can't believe say, I'll be going through all of this. Seriously, son. I'm not trying to make you feel any way or try to hurt you. No, but it, it already it already out in the open. My son with a mad woman. No, sir. What do I do to deserve this, though? Eh? What do I do to deserve this? I'll tell you what. I'm going to take up your offer. I remember what you said. Not me. You said that. All right? Yes. The deal, sir? Yes. Make sure I say, if when we see her, any little inch of madness we see now, you and her cannot, and it will not happen. Okay? All right. Can we shake on that, sir? I have your word, sir? Yes. Make sure. All right. Make sure. Okay. Gosh, you can go back here. You know, say look beautiful. Thank you. From the first time I saw you, I knew I, I loved you. Mm -hmm. I look so much better. Well, we just want to thank you for everything you do for me. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to tell no lie. I just want to say I appreciate everything you do for me. And for my mother also. Because if I never you, I don't know what I'm going to do on the road right you now. Understand? Yeah, you don't have to worry about that. To be honest, you see the kindness you show me, I can't tell you that God have a plan for you. He has something in store for you. Well, even if he doesn't, he doesn't have something in store for me, I still love you. And no will ever change that. Okay. As you ain't no matter what anyone says, I will love you. I ain't have to worry about that. Oh, um, more if you know is that I love you also. I will always do. This might come to you as a surprise, but my father wants to meet you. Really? Yeah. Alright, no problem. You sure you want to do this? I'm sure. You sure? Okay. How are you doing? Hello. So What's your name? Now? Listen, I'm going to ask her a question. All right? All right. What's your name? My name is Brittany Richard. Brittany Richards, where are you from? Main Street, South. Main Street in South? Yes. How is school you attending? Godfrey. Godfrey, how old are you? I'm 20 years old. You're 20? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right, just see. Alright, so what happened now? Um, don't feel any way I'm asking you this. Alright? Well, actually I heard. You're on medication. Is that true? Was on medication, but the doctor said I'm off it now because I'm okay. Alright, you sure not? Sure. Oh, okay. You know, you have to ask because, you know, this family have a line of, you know, neurosurgeons, doctors, and it's not anybody I want with my son here. But I also want to make my own. Diagnosis, and you understand? understand. All right, and stuff. <clears throat> anyway, um, let me see now. So, you love him? Yes, I love your son. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, you know, him tell me, him love you how much and whatever and stuff. So, actually, you know, and stuff. I'm gonna ask you to do something for me. 
which uh, it might sound a way, look a way, but it's just from my own, you know, my own headspace and stuff. I'm just gonna ask you to just go write this up for me and just let's come back from there. Yeah, man. Yeah, well, welcome, welcome. Yes, man. Yes, yes. Okay, no problem. She passing so far? Listen to me. When I'm finished, I'm finished. All right. All right, good. You know why I did that, right? Yes. Okay. Actually, it's not a bad look so far. Okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, actually, when I tested, I asked you the questions. You didn't stutter. You went fluently and stuff. The hand gesture is something that we know. If somebody script of any, they walk with their hand straight, no limb movement and stuff, and it, it looked positive and stuff. So, why are you looking at me like that, son? Well, it, it, it's I just to hear a blessing. Well, I mean, she's not, <laughs> she's not bad looking, look nice and stuff, but it's not all negative. You know, I'm going to come off your case, but I'm still watching. I can't just let it like that. Okay. You understand me? I understand. How long have you been off the medication? Now? A month now. A month now? Yeah. And no, well, actually you have no mistake. But to be honest with you, I'm going to give you a space. And you know, son, you have, you have one bit. Well, for now. But I still have to have the eyes open. All right? Okay. All right. So, handshake like that, sir. This is what I'm looking at. Okay. Thank right. you again, your father. Yeah, man. I, I, I apologize for, you know. Okay. But there's stuff I have to do. You'll understand. All right. All right. Well, you guys have my blessing for now. All right? All right but I'm you. still watching. What, you'll be 100%? Son, I'll see you. All right. All right? And don't say any more old friends. Good to see you again. All right, goodbye. You kids enjoy yourself. All right? Yeah. I'll call you, yeah? Make sure you do. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings. As the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young, it has just begun. As she puts her hand in mine. Um, but definitely, I say thank you for watching because there's a lot of work we've been putting out and I see that you guys have been appreciating what we've been doing so far and it, 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 it gives me a, a sense of joy for you know, so can put out some work, you know, love what we are doing. But before we go further with a lot of things, more of us big up to Dr. Jack and more of us telling us, yo, information up on the screen, so if you're interested in getting him product, we can reach out to him, we have the bedroom tactic for the man them. We'll reach out and him can tell her, ah, with that boat, uh, for the man that want to boot up, him have the right thing for you. So say we can link him and him can tell her all about that. All right, so let's get down to business and talk about a few things. Um, we definitely, I try to get some last piece of things this end of this month to go over to next month because we want to, at least next month, we want to start shoot some stuff that we can try to submit to whether it's film festival or to some other platforms to see exactly what can become of the hard work that we've been putting in. But we need all the help that we can get. Not just for get more equipment or for help to get more things, but just for help to amp up the production. Because part of what we need, we need props. That is one of the essential things. We need some police clothes. We need some nurse uniform. We need some fireman things. We need, we need prop guns. We need things we are going to make the production look better but we can't do it by ourselves because all of those things cost money so please feel free to reach out to me on instagram and we can talk on we can help and whether it be a case where you help and you get back returns well if that are the case well we can do that too 
You know what I'm saying? So, we thank you very much. And you, you don't know the thing I get better and better as the day goes by in terms of everything that with the sound quality, picture quality, everything I get better. And we love that. You know what I'm saying? Because growth is a part of what we believe in. You know what I'm saying? All right. So, before we go do my one little subscriber when my mother say watch all I movie them. You know, him live a town. Him name Azari. I'm going to put up him picture up on the screen so when we see it. Him watch the movie them. Him love what I want. You know what I'm saying? So, if you guys are subscribers on the out there and love it, we are the one we give you a big up at the end of the video. Show me up, man. I drop it in the video. Put, maybe put up on the picture and say, big up with that one. That one and that one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we know, you know, see we out in the street and we give you a whole heap of love and we appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Big up on yourself. Continue to watch. Continue to show up the video them. Continue to tell a friend to tell a friend. You know what I'm saying? Because that will help the thing to go further. So big up on yourself and keep on watching. Mate, in my entire life. You must be Lulu or something. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's close here. Tell me, get fixed. Come on, take the Get fixed and take a woman and walk with you. Ready? Ready? And ready and action. Doctor, I'm not going to stand here and make a disrespect the woman I love. One day I see myself that I will marry her. So that